Oh, good lord. Good morning, guys. How are you? How you been? I'm not too shabby, not too bad. I've been better, and I'm also sad. Uh, oh, look, I'm a poet, and I didn't know. Uh, I'm good, guys. I'm good. I woke up about 10, 15 minutes ago, realized today's Friday, and I promised you guys a coffee time with Cobra. And so, uh, here it is. Uh, so, well... Oh, first things first, I need a sip of the old brain juice. So I just go. Uh... Oh, lovely, lovely. Where have I been? What am I at? Where am I been? And what's happened to my hair? Um, <laughs> long story short, I did tell you guys I was going to get a haircut. And I went back to my old mohawk ways because I've not had a mohawk in quite a while. And I figured I would go back to my mohawk days. Um,. As of Monday, I will be back to streaming for a bit because, because I, um, my, uh, cyber security course is taking a little break, um, the teacher's going on holiday for like two weeks, so I got two weeks off, and then I've got like a 15 hour, um, uh, um, video class i've got to teach i have to teach it uh, as part of the course we've got to teach that we've got to explain that we understand what's going on uh, course work wise and so i am going to be doing one on uh, this little guy if you guys don't know what this is this is a ponagotchi let me just power it on um it's powered by a raspberry pi uh two uh, this is a W2, uh, uh, so it's a Wi-Fi based Pi. It does have um, uh, regular USB connect system and um, so you can connect it up via a USB cable and uh, your PC recognizes it as a uh, um, USB Wi-Fi modem. That's how you communicate with with through uh, um, SSH um, things of that nature. So you can move programs over, or I can tunnel into it through SSH uh, using PuTTY or FileZilla and uh, issue commands that way to it. And uh, yeah, it's it's a fun little toy. Um, it's designed to deauth internet connections. There you go, so she's up and running. It's designed to deauth internet connections. If you look, you can see his face doing his thing. So he's looking around for Wi Fi and stuff. And basically, what it does is it um, finds a connection, uh, sends out a hi, may I connect to your network? If it gets rejected, It'll do a mini brute, not necessarily a brute force password, but it'll try a, a generic list of passwords until it gets a connection. Then it will write down the password, the the uh, SSH ID, which is the, the network name, the password, and store it in its brain, and it gets a small amount of experience and levels up. So it's kind of like a little Pokemon slash Digimon slash... Uh, um, slash um, Tamagotchi Pet and um, they're fun little little devices to have you can tinker with it you can have it inject um, things I mean I had my previous one um, Rodeochi um, my first true Ponagotchi that I actually developed uh, I still got her brain saved on my computer, so I can swap brains out and bring her back to life. But she won't have the experience. She won't have all the the plugins and stuff. Even though I've still got the plugins, um, again, some plugins I coded in Python. Uh, one of them's a Rick Roll. Um, so she assumes a connection on a public Wi-Fi, i.e., Starbucks, McDonald's, um, things of that nature, and um, she will literally de-auth everyone who's connected to that wi-fi connect and basically she disconnects them then once she's the only person on that connection 
she will then bring down its login screen, clone it, bring up its own login screen. So then when people try to connect with their phone, you know, with with, with their phone and go did did did, and they see that little tick mark where they've got a, a, a accept the terms and terms and conditions. The moment you tick that. It will reauth you to that connection, but it's tunneled in now like a VPN connection, like a reverse VPN. So I could in fact run PowerShell. I can run medicine. I could run small, horrible scripts that will do like a like a one percent bit miner. So you don't realize it while you're at McDonald's eating your food. Your phone's actually uh, mining Monero or you know, insert crypto here for my for my uh, uh, Monero miner. Um, and it won't, it will, it will only stop mining if you disconnect from the network or, or various, like, right, you sure kill command to, to, to those workers, uh, things of that nature. Um, or in this case, uh, once you click, I accept, it brings up a YouTube video and automatically plays Rick Roll. <laughs> Da, 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 da. It, it plays one of those and it says you've been Pinagotchied. Um Again, I did that as my thesis for my network intrusion and hacking uh, uh, exam. And um, I did it to my local Reading University uh, uh, IT department. And uh, <laughs> let's just say, some people found it hilarious, other people did not. <laughs> Uh, I also did it to um, the um, self checkouts at McDonald's here in Reading because um, they're all running Windows XP. Yes, Windows XP um, that have no security scripts whatsoever. Um, there's absolutely nothing stopping me from running a um, RFID uh, hack and a few other things that. Basically, you walk up to it. You got your your your, your tap to pay, or your, your or your phone, or, or your um, um, RFID on your on your credit card. There's absolutely nothing stopping me from installing a skimmer, a software skimmer. Um, so as you tap to pay, it will charge you a penny extra. Um, and you're thinking, well, a penny's nothing. Actually, there's eight computers at this particular pro particular place so i'm i'm getting 8p per customer for per, per you know per 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 use for every transaction and i mean i could up it to something like 3p or 5p you know no one looks at the pennies they always look at the pounds but they don't look at the pennies and so long story short in the space of about 24 hours, I could easily clear up a, a couple of grand in pennies. And again, I could have that sent to a um, a Coinbase wallet or a crypto wallet, and immediately tra- and immediately change it over to a uh, a crypto of my choice or penny stocks. Yeah, it, it, there are t- tons of ways that you can scam people. Same as um, there's a little um, hack you can do with the Flipper Zero that lets you attack uh, uh, um, self checkouts. So you run your items through, and you select card, and you swipe your your card that's attached to your flipper zero and your flipper zero hacks their uh accounting and they pay you what your amounts are so say i bought a salad a soft drink and i don't know something silly i don't know uh, batteries okay so go beep 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 hit pay bring out you know what looks like my phone or i know you can you can actually do this with um, your phone, because this phone, let me power it up real quick. This phone, I replaced the battery in, but if you look, it's actually software hacked. Um, 
it still says Google. So it's a Google Pixel. Okay. So it'll load up. This is the Pixel... Nox Pixel... Google Pixel something. I can't remember the top of my head. Um, but oh look. Boots in the Kali Linux. So then I can FTP terminal my main laptop that has all the software on there to this Caddy Linux phone bring up Rocky, Seasploit, NetHunter well that's had NetHunter up but I'd, I'd activate something like Hijacker okay go to Receiver Right, yeah, see it's looking for a pin delay and a few other things. That's where you'd put in your pin. Hit start, and now it's looking for an access point. See? And so I would go up to the terminal, go, and ba bing and it genuinely makes all the same sounds and everything else. And it genuinely looks like I am cracking. Uh, 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 I'm paying for my goods. It will print off a receipt. It will say paid. But I will look at the account used. And the money will be sent to the account. Basically you're making a, 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 um, a self-checkout pay you. So. And again I use that as a form of pen testing. Um, because you can buy self-checkouts. You can buy used self-checkouts that will have all the current up-to-date software and practice and practice and practice and practice until you get it down. And then lo and behold, you've now got major chain uh, uh, mass-produced uh, self-checkouts, which are everywhere because God love automation, that's now paying you. So you can get a week's worth of groceries Crack it, dump it, get the receipt, leave the store, wait about five, ten minutes and beep beep, hits your account. They've paid you as a, as a uh, refund. They mark it up as a refund. So you basically, would be, you basically are getting paid to shop. Now, I'm not going to tell you and show you how I did it, Okay. Again, I'm only showing you bare necessity sort of stuff that you can do, but you can do it. Which is why you should always be weary of people at places like coffee shops, um, fast food restaurants, where all they've got is like a coffee or an apple pie, or you know, and and they they've got their laptop up, or they've got their they've got more than one phone on their desk, and it's just them. Case in point, I do this. I have my phones like this. Again, blue and black, I'm working. Okay? This is my, my current phone. It's my, it's my nan. This is my current phone. My old phone, which is here, I am going to... Uh, I've backed up all the stuff on the phone. I'm going to wipe it, and I'm going to put Kelly Linux on this. Because this is a much more upgradable phone than this. So this one will be replaced with this one. See? But then I'll wipe the phone and sell the phone. So I'll have two two phones. And I'll, I'll be happy. And if anyone asks, why do I have two mobile phones? I'll say, I'm, I'm in IT. This is my personal phone. The other one's my work phone. Which is the truth. This is why I have my own cybersecurity company. I am a freelance cybersecurity specialist. I specialize in my own area of expertise, which is automation hacking. I'm at the point where I can use my Ponagotchi with this modified uh, dual Wi Fi dongle, and I can hack uh, Teslas. No joke. I can actually hack Teslas. I, I've, I've went, I've done this. 
rebooted my Ponogachi, walked past the Ponogachi, and then I can hear Rip Roll playing in all of the ne- uh, uh, all of the Tesla cars. It's fucking hilarious. This is why there's a Tesla dealership just down the street from me. I've been I've been practicing. Why? Because Tesla uses a lot of automation. BMW use a lot of automation. Um, there are so many um, uh, car companies that are now using automation. And yet, clearly, they've not hired the correct people to crack or hack said automation. Because I can do it with a generic set of passwords. I've got three password lists. One is a a, a common file that has about 80,000 passwords. I've got another one that has about 8 million passwords. And I've got another one that has just shy of a trillion passwords. That one I run through uh, an old uh, uh, Bitcoin mining pc that has about eight gpus on it and it will crack a password in about 16 seconds no joke no joke in fact one of the graphics cards died Uh, let me get it for you here you go and they're not even big gpus this is a nvidia 1070 yeah it's a 1070 Uh, 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 a two gigabyte card there you go it's got about eight or nine. Eight, and this one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's got seven in there now. This is the this was the eighth one. It died. But point is, it's just raw, raw data. And the and the old seven hundred series wasn't affected by Nvidia's updates on their drivers, which means you can technically. I could technically Monero mine on those things, but I don't want to. But the point is, I've got them in an old Bitcoin motherboard motherboard. With a little dual core Celeron. Yeah, a dual core Celeron and 8 gigs of RAM. Because you don't need the RAM, you don't need the processing power. You just need the GPU processing power. And that is solely what that machine does. And because these cards don't require an external power power to run them, I've only got like a 400, 400 watt power supply on that thing. That thing consumes like peanuts for power. But it's right there. And it's literally just... I SSH into it. And I give it, you know, the username. I put in all three of my password lists and just let it crank. Bing! Done. There you go. Username, password, enter. Oh, look, I'm in. And I've tested it. I have tested it. This is why every time you need something like uh, 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 Guado. Again, not sponsored. Guado is a software plugin that you can get that every time there's a data breach or you go to somewhere like x okay here you go i'll I'll screen share something real quick display capture add source add source display two boop there we go this right over here is Guado. Your computer is at risk. You visited nine malicious websites yesterday and have nine active security threats. Let's get them fixed. This is the um, software I was telling you about. The reason why I think it's a really good uh, uh, system is because, look, it actively scans all stuff like that, checks to make sure stuff's up to date. Yes, you've got to pay for this. And yes, I will be... Um, I will be, see, see, you can get it for 10 bucks a month, you know, because I don't have the 10 bucks right now, but I will be getting it here soon. Um, and so, Guardio is a good software, um, because if you, it'll tell you what, what uh, uh, accounts you've got that are compromised. Um, by law here in the UK, companies that are UK based, have to tell you if they've if there's been a data breach because it's a data protection act uh, thing here in the uk and a lot of us companies are based in ireland where they don't so because of that little get around um this is how i actually lost my um 
how I lost my, my Bitcoin. This is what got me into cybersecurity in the first place. So some bastard stole 40 grand's worth of Bitcoin from me. That was my entire life savings. To them, that was a, a happy little payday. But to me, that was literally 40 years of my life gone. And I've been trying to get it back ever since. And British police haven't found shit. They won't. I know they won't. And because of their incompetency, that's what made me say, you know what? I want to learn to do this myself. Uh, so yeah, that's where I'm at in, in school-wise, cybersecurity-wise, and why I can do a little bit of streaming. Uh, Health-wise, I'm not doing so good. Um, I got a letter. Um, I, I had some x-rays done. And um, when I got the x-rays done, it turned out that um, my hips and my lower back are suffering really bad degenerative disease which means osteopath uh, osteopath arthritis which means my bones are, are uh, eroding away really really bad and one of them even turned around and said that i might even one of the doctors even turned around and said looking just from my x-rays that within a year i might be having to look i might have to look at getting both my hips replaced uh, i'm 43 guys i may not look good i may look good on the exterior but on the interior i'm wrecked that's what happens to the British Army. Uh, fuck your back up. Fuck your legs up. Fuck your knees up. And so they gave me these um, exercise programs to do. Um, so I've got um, just just simple leg m movements to do to keep myself going. And on the 13th of November at 10.30, uh, I go in to see a specialist. Um to discuss more so that's all i can tell you because that's all i know but it does look like i, I have to move uh, to a ground floor flat um, because even the doctor said that will help because i'm going up constantly two flats of stairs to go pee to get drink to, to do everything and you know plus i like to walk everywhere and he said that's great for exercise wise that you want to walk everywhere however um with the way my hips are going, um, I might end up even having to get a mobility scooter, guys. And I used to hate seeing people in mobility scooters because I think to myself, like, you lazy fuckers, just get out and get up and walk, you know? And then I've realised not everyone can do that. Um, and so it sucks. Oh God, I literally just saw an embarrassing video. No guide, no guide finger. What the hell are you? Oh my God, I'm legit watching. Here, I'll show you what I'm watching. So you, it's a Facebook video, Twitter video. Look at these guys trying to reload. Look, look, what the hell? No. 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 Not a single one of them. Oh my god, what are you doing? This this is what happens, guys. I'm sorry. This is what happens when you raise an entire generation. Playing fucking America's Army in Call of Duty. Plain and simple. The first thing you do is when you eject, when you slide eject the mag, especially on an M4. I know this because I've owned several M4s. Okay, slide done. There, I just beat all of you. It's not hard. Notice what I did with my thumb. Okay. Say my phone is the mag. Okay. Rifles right here. 
okay? Your reject slides up here, okay? So you've got your trigger here. So case in point, it's just done. I use my thumb, my thumb, my thumb as the fucking guide. So you get the magazine in perfect every fucking time. Same as an AK. The exact same as an AK. The only difference is, is, is you have to bring your other, your arm up around to recock it. Because they don't make a fucking left slide, uh, 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 left slide AK. Which I think would be amazing if someone fucking did. But they don't. Because you can't hip fire it. Because if you do, when you hip fire it, the slide will um, catch your clothes. But anyway, point is, oh god, that is just embarrassing. That is just fucking absolutely embarrassing. And I mean that, that is embarrassing. Extremely disappointing. This is why I swear you take veterans from the 90s and early 2000s, get five of us motherfuckers together, we would destroy the current US Army just by ourselves. And all we've done is treat them how they should be treated in the barracks, <laughs> let alone fire a single shot at them. Oh my god! Uh, the fuck is that? It's my emotion card! Get that shit out my face! Fucking pussy. Oh. Well, guys, this video's been gone on way too long than it should. But I just wanted to give you a quick update on where I'm at, health-wise, what I'm doing, uh, things of that nature. So uh, later on today, I will be live on Twitch uh, once I've cleaned up my room. God, I sound, I sound like a child. Uh, once I've cleaned up this this, this work area, and, and whatnot, because this, this this table is an absolute mess, and I'm going to be doing a bit of a spring clean. Um, there's some stuff on this table that I've got to file away, put away, and things of that nature. Anyway, guys, so take care, guys. I love you all. You're fucking amazing. Anyway, coffee is. Coffee's done. Video's done. Take care, guys, and I'll see you all later on on Twitch.